There's a lot of talk recently about the disruption in the world today, a constantly disrupted world. The other day I was in a conversation with two other people and one of them was sharing about their day and had highlighted that one of their children owns a home in Louisiana and the, the storm had blown the, the top off the house. Uh, at the same time, they were managing an aging parent and with the Delta variant moving up, uh, there was more of a, a lockdown situation again. Uh, they were also sharing because they remembered the days of Saigon, that looking at Kabul was bringing back memories of Saigon and the pain that came with that, that end uh, and with that, uh, I guess, possible humiliation uh, or disaster. But there's just three things, three, three different disruptions or sets of bad news in the world right now. And I was thinking there's probably seven or eight mega disruption uh, patterns in the world right now. And anytime you get three people together, they've all probably personally been impacted by two, three or four of those just in the day that you're talking to them. We are entering an era, or we have already entered an era, of near constant disruption. So the question is, because we can't change that, how do we deal with it even better? So how do we navigate that world? Um, there is no doubt that there are disruptions and that there is bad news and there are things we need to do and anticipate. But getting a balanced view of what's in front of you is critical. All the news we consume, whether it's via social media or on the TV or in the newspaper or magazines, is about the picture of the dangers and what's going wrong. In order to navigate that world, it's gonna be critical that we as people and we as leaders take the time to reflect every day. What are you grateful for? What inspired you today? What went well? And as you capture that, it will become clearer and clearer that there is a lot of good news. And getting that balanced view, trying to navigate a disrupted world where the only thing you're seeing are the disruptions, you're like a person flapping in the waves. You're in it. You're in the disruption. If you take the time to get a balanced view and don't look at what's working well, what you're grateful for, what inspires you, what happened today that uh, felt right to me, you end up being someone who can look at and address disruptions, see the patterns and react or act or proactively address them because you have a better balanced view. You're able to see the good news and the not so good news in one picture. So what I'd encourage you to do as a leader or as a person is create the habit of balancing all that, that, that uh, drama with reflecting on what's working and what are you grateful for. That balance will give you the grounding to be able to address some of the challenges we all face. Thank you.